Boy, oh boy, you've got some jump in your step right now, kid. Not just on the offensive side of it, but stripping pucks and defending as well. Are you feeling as good as you've felt all season long, Colt? Yeah, I feel good. I think just trying to build my game as the season goes on. Obviously, missed a few games there and kind of getting back into it. You, you want to take it slow and just play it simple and then just continue to build your game again. So um, just trying to get back into the swing of things here after being out for a little bit and then obviously with the bye week. But um, this is kind of the stretch where we want to start playing some good hockey as a group. So um, just going into playoffs, I think that, that last year we... Uh, we built as a group kind of going into playoffs and that's that's what kind of brought us to where we were and uh, why we won i think so um just coming down the stretch we're gonna have to uh make sure we keep building okay i'll, I'll follow up on that then in, in this game because you were building you got the two nothing lead what do you think happened in that second period that things kind of uh slowed down a little bit oh they came hard i think we just kind of maybe i don't know what exactly would have been but um kind of felt like they were just on top of us a lot maybe lost a little bit of support but um no they're a good team obviously uh when you have two good teams going out like that uh it, it's tough and they they check hard they come with two guys all the time and um it can make it frustrating so um good work by them and obviously uh good by us to kind of get out to a good start and whenever we play those guys it always seems to be a tough game um goes into overtime or not but um they're good I know I'm going to tie in the Urban Chestnut Player of the Week award. I'm going to tie it in like this. You find out before the game, Chris Prongers, number 44, you know, another six foot six, lol, uh, big uh, defenseman. He's going to get his sweater retired. Uh, you had two goals. The last hat trick by a defenseman for the St. Louis Blues was 1998. It was Al McGinnis at Madison Square Garden. You had the two goals, and you had a glorious chance after that. But what I was impressed with was how often you snuck in there on that one side. Like, you, you weren't backing off, and you're showing so much confidence in the, in, on that side of it. Yeah, I'm just trying to get open. Obviously, when you have Tom over there, he's an elite passer and made a great pass on that one that you were talking about. And um, he just zings it so hard and threw a couple guys Is that... Is rolling a little bit? Uh, I'm not sure, but what a pass. And I just kind of caught it at the last second, and then... Um, yeah, I mean, I just try to throw it towards the net, maybe hit, hit a stick in front or something like that. But, um, no, I don't know, just trying to get open, just trying to kind of do whatever I can to chip in a little bit. One last question. The power play units have been changed around, and, and you're there with Vince Dunn. It's got to feel good for you, too, to get a little bit on the offensive side of it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's easy to say that, I guess, for anybody. But um, kind of just like I said, just whatever my role is, I just want to make sure I'm chipping in. And obviously we have a lot of good players back there and uh, on, on our offense as well. So um, if you get that opportunity, just make sure you kind of make the most of it and, and enjoy enjoy the process while you're out there too because uh, it's a long season uh, and anything can happen. So just make sure that uh, have fun with it. It's a long season. That's why you need to go over to Urban Chestnut and find yourself a nice urban underdog, pal. But in the meantime, you get to take this little guy with you, okay? Perfect, thanks. Okay, but treat him well. Uh, I will, for sure. Great game, Colton. Yeah, thanks. thanks for doing this. Fellas, back to you.